What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of the Ultimate Team. Uh, we're at episode number 15 now, I do believe. I've still got the same squad as per the last few episodes. Um, as per the last episode, in fact, we started wagering. I uh, won one and lost one. I ended up with about the same amount of coins. I started with 1,900 coins, ended with 1,600 coins. So I went in for a straight up 1.5k wager against a subscriber. Like I said before in the last episode, guys, if you want to be able to wager against me, then be sure to be following me on Twitter because that's where I announce it. And uh, before we go any further, if you'd like to purchase any FIFA Ultimate Team coins, check out footcoinemporium.com. Their link is in the description below. A very fast and reliable service. And if you use the discount code NEPO at checkout, you'll receive 5% off your coins. And I hope you guys are all uh, enjoying FIFA these uh, FIFA 14 I'm actually enjoying FIFA a lot at the moment I'm playing it for fun which I haven't done uh, since before the patch and uh, I'm really just finding my edge with it but I went 1-0 down here against J11 or Jake as his name is and some terrible defending from me there and again there, left him wide open with an easy chance to go 2-0 up. But uh, you can tell by the title, the title is called p possibly my best goal ever. Um, it, or it'd be called something like Incredible Goal or something. And that is because Remy, and it, it might even be called Remy the Magician. Um, basically, Loic Remy and Daniel Sturridge, for me, are better than Obama Yang and... Uh, Lewandowski better than Ibarbo and Muriel or Balotelli Remy and Sturridge are the kings of FIFA they are seriously seriously good I did pull this game back to 2-2 two, two. I end up just really really bad defending again from me there I went 3-2 down in the 54th minute but used the kickoff glitch straight away I fumbled it, he fumbled it, the ball managed to hit the bar, Remy stumbles it in and then flicks through the net. So a nice little magic trick from Remy there, bouncing through the net. And then I score a fourth goal, which is nothing short of magical from Ericsson. Look at this, one touch on the volley, superb goal. Seriously, one of the best goals I've scored. And you might think, wait, that's just a volley from outside the box. It's not that special, but the technique used for the first touch and then the volley the fact that it went perfectly into the top right hand corner and the fact that usually when I try this it just goes into row Z look at that it's just absolutely beautiful for a strike and uh, it was just it was good to get in the lead but yet again some more disgusting disgusting defending from me caused me to concede another goal and we went into extra time at 4-4 now he makes a defensive error of, of, of his own he passes the ball out to Remy there I went 5-4 up in the 100th minute and then the very next minute he kicks off look at this he kicks off now tell me this isn't one of the best goals you've ever seen in FIFA I play it through to Remy I hit it first time and it just flies perfectly into that top corner it even hits the post maybe the post and the crossbar and there is like 57 in-game seconds between goal one and goal two there and we go 6-4 up Loic Remy scoring his fourth of the game and I show every replay of this because it's just absolutely exceptional the way he strikes that the keeper is left standing and watching it goes in perfectly into the top left hand corner of the net the camera can barely keep up with the ball comes back into shot it hits off that post it is just a beautiful strike and the reason why i've been doing that guys and something that i really want to give you some tips on is that snapshots no matter how far out you are are ridiculously strong ridiculously strong and that's why Sturridge and Remy are so powerful as well because their weak foots are really good I do manage to score a seventh goal just after kickoff there again Remy with the over the top chip through ball the second one of the game and uh, I probably didn't need to do that but it's just natural instinct at this stage and whether you judge me for it negatively or positively it's part of the game and uh, it's something that I do I, I can't do it it's like I say it's instinctive so uh, we end up winning the game 7-4 an 11 goal thriller and we pick up the 1,500 coins plus the match coins, which at this stage are still very important to us. 653 match coins there. And uh, I'm, I'm not making people lock in for these wages because I kind of trust people with the, the such small wager amounts. There he goes. He buys the card off of me. Uh, we end up winning the game. A fantastic, uh, a fantastic win, really. A great way to win. And we're building up that coin total now. So we have... Uh, 3,700 coins pretty much so I thought let me go in for a 2k wager I could have gone straight for a 3k wager I could have gone for a three and a half k wager even and like just w like put everything on the line but I don't want to lose everything if I lose a game so I went for a 2k wager we'll be getting close to being able to pick up someone like Fellaini, Ramirez, uh, David Luis um, I want to get Scherler as well on the left hand side Walker on the right hand side uh, Kyle Walker at right back we'll be closer to picking up these kind of players uh, the, the more wages we play but I come up against the next subscriber this is a 2k wager he's got a really strong squad uh, Diego Costa Osvaldo Lucas Bernard uh, he's got Gustavo Ramirez Luis Dante
Dante, Mike on at right back, Marcelo and Diego Alves in goal. And uh, this for the one for the for the game should have been a lot closer than it actually was. He throws the ball out here, makes a defensive error. It falls straight to Sturridge. Sturridge plays it through to Ericsson. Ericsson smashes that into the back of the net. 1-0 after 10 minutes. Shortly after that, he actually got David Luiz sent off for a tackle that was probably a good tackle. Like, it, I don't believe it was a red card myself. He actually scores here first uh, to make it 1-1. Then he gets a red card. I forgot to put the clip of the red card in, but I, I believe it was a decent tackle. Unfortunately, the game is dumb like that sometimes. It gave him the uh, the red card. And Remy here again, a little bit of magic. Steps inside the defender. Steps inside Dante there with the roulette. Shoots and scores. Makes it 2-1 in the 45th minute. And we all know now uh, with 10 men, we could, we're just going to be going on to getting a, a nice victory here. And Remy again steps up to take another penalty. He actually missed a penalty earlier on in the game as well. Remy steps up, smashes at home and takes us uh, into 3-1, which gives us a win and the coins. If you guys are enjoying this series and want to see more of this, leave a like on the video. And if you are a last man standing, if you're still here at the end of the video, no matter how, uh, how much you enjoy this series or whatever, leave a like on the video. Let me know in the comment section that you made it to the end and you are a last man standing. And uh, that will be absolutely fantastic. So we pick up there a 3-1 victory which is pretty damn sweet more importantly uh, than the victory at this stage is the coins because we do want to start building you know once i get like 20 30k i'll be able to start doing a bit bigger wages you know like 5 10s 15ks and then gradually we'll grow and grow and grow to be doing like 40 50 100k wages and then we'll be able to buy like the really incredible players should we win the games but the card is bought there the 2000 coins go into the bank that leaves us with just over 6000 coins now which is fantastic so thank you guys as always for watching hopefully you enjoyed this and i'll see you next time peace